Alright, here's the walk around video you've all been asking for. 1981 Craftsman Sears GT16. Name's Musty. Got a little bit of work done. Got all my lights on just to show you guys. A couple things on the rear here. This is my tow bar. Also can be used to mount wheels on and use as a wheelie bar. You might see this little reservoir here. That's full of brake fluid. Cause um, if we look up under there, you can see the hydraulic cylinder. That's ran through right here. This is just a spring and holds everything together. Works super well, so that comes down. And you can see it just back there. Down to my disc brake, right there. And has a guard on it as well. I'm set up to run a hitch as well. This is my onboard air setup. Put air in all your buddy's tires. Uh, this is a bolt-on gas tank, full gas. Go back up here. I am running a winch up front. As you can see, headlights upgraded off Amazon, easy to find. The double clutch pedal welded on. That's a big upgrade that a lot of people don't do that really helps out, especially for you mud mower guys. Dashboard, we got the winch in and the out. Little storage box here. Another storage box in here. Hold your snacks and a jumper. A shifter. Three speed with reverse. My seat's off a go-kart and then I made this little custom bag setup. She's kind of gotten beaten as you can see. Pulled the piston out of a Honda I raced. I did win, so I pulled the piston as you can see. But uh, this is just a mo motorcycle headrest I put on there. Another upgrade that a lot of people don't do is the big upgraded spring. Put a big seat spring in people. It helps out a lot. You can see, big. Uh, yeah, no, it works really well, people. This is my horn. It's hit a few things, so she is a little clapped out. Hobart Official is the sponsor. That's uh, my brand. Uh, there'll be shirts and loat and stuff and whatnot all to come. I'll pop the hood for you guys. Like that says. It's a 16 horsepower of pro opposed Briggs and Stratton. I'll be swapping in the 23 horsepower soon here. My gas pedal, I use an old golf ball so I can get lots of grip at any angle. And a return spring here, so that helps out a lot. So that's big cable and then it gets ran into uh, a pinch. It pinches the cable and then to the throttle body itself. You can see in here, my steering, one inch pillow block, down to some gear action that I made. You can see my winch receiver in there. More on this side. Battery is tucked in the back there. As for underneath, I'm running a light bar on the bottom there. Sorry, that's some snow. Had some good times. There's the brake setup, as you guys can see. Transaxle. Here's my skid plate. Guys, another upgrade. Run a fucking skid plate. Also got one for my rear pulley. That helps out a lot. Coming to the front, you can see some of the steering I got. The crossover. Another big upgrade. Steering, of course. Custom knuckles. Steering, steering spindles. That's all gonna get redone again. Lots of custom work, it's the small things. Like musty. It's almost killed me, but uh, 
If you can see where it used to be, that's where the original bolt or originally welded on, but when I rolled I almost hit my face. Or it did hit my face. So uh yeah. Now she's boogered on there. Yeah, still lots, lots to do, lots more to come. So uh stay tuned people. This thing's gonna be getting better and better and I've only got more and more ideas. So uh if you guys want to see anything else more close up, there's still lots that I didn't show or I can go into more depth on certain things. Just uh, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, don't forget to go check out the YouTube. You can see these things get plowing through some snow, doing some wheelies. A lot of things have been happening lately.